It's a cold, rainy day. The house feels dark and the flickering of the candles make it feel cozy. I love the rain and the way it makes everything feel. It's been raining here all week, so I have been enjoying the indoors more than usual. Staying tucked away inside, I'm able to get more housework done. But before I get into the day's work, let's make some coffee. I've been enjoying this little press I got a few weeks back. It makes a bold cup of coffee that I just add a bit of whole milk to. It's the perfect cup of coffee. You know those days when you can see your children are having a rough time? This morning was one of those for me. It was nothing particularly bad, just lots of frustration and a rushed morning. So much so that my daughter didn't have time to tidy her room, something I know is bothering her. So today, I'm going to do it for her, just to lighten up her day. I was recently asked to write an article for a magazine, giving some wisdom to other homemakers. It has made me think back and reflect on my entire journey, something hard to do in just a few words. However, one bit of wisdom stands out. Remember that most things won't look significant in ordinary living at first glance. Our children grow quickly when we look back, but slowly when we measure the day to day. Try not to get lost in the mundane of repeated work because each laundry pile you stack, floor you clean, and meal you make, it all contributes to a sense of well-being within our children's hearts, something that is quite powerful. For lunch, I'm gonna share my daughter's favorite meal with you. It's a crock pot macaroni and cheese that she likes me to add ground beef to. You can find the recipe in the description box below. It's the perfect comfort meal for when she gets home. As the rain continues outside, I'm going to finally start on the cleaning. I like to do my floors once a week. We have wood floors throughout most of our house that I stained a dark walnut color. The darkness of the floors tends to show dust easily, so I like to give them a good sweep and follow it up with either a steam mop or a Swiffer style mop. I'm going to make a quick natural cleaner for the floor. It's about a quarter cup of white vinegar and one and a half cups of water. Then I put a few drops of essential oil. I usually use lemon essential oil, but today I think I'm gonna use grapefruit. This isn't a sponsored post at all, but I happen to find this spray mop that I've been really enjoying. I'm able to make my own cleaner for it and the washable pads actually flip over while you're mopping so you could use both sides while you mop. And I just thought it was super helpful, so I will leave a link for it in the description box below in case you're interested.
After mopping, I went and picked up my daughter from her center class. So now it's time for lunch. I'm going to quickly cook the ground beef with just salt and pepper, then add it to the macaroni. With all the schoolwork done, the house tidied, and the floors finally cleaned, it is now time to prep for dinner. Tonight we are going to be having butternut squash soup. I have several butternut squashes from my mother's garden. I only need one for the soup. I'm going to get it peeled and cubed. The soup is creamy and smooth. Perfect for the rainy day we are having. You can find my recipe for it in the description box below. I add a couple of potatoes to the baking sheet as well, which gives the soup a nice flavor. I season everything with sea salt, cracked black pepper, and olive oil, then roast until soft. The recipe calls for some shaved carrot, which adds a nice touch of sweetness, along with diced onions that I cook in the pot first. I have some vegetable stock going on the side, made from veggie scraps, a little butter, and some salt. To create a smooth soup, we will need to blend it. This hand blender works well, but you can also use a regular blender if you don't have one. I finished the soup off with some heavy cream and a pat of butter. It's time to set the table and serve.
like to garnish the soup with toasted almonds and more cream. It makes a lovely presentation and some texture to the soup. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have enjoyed your time here. Have a wonderful week ahead, and I will see you on the next one.